check it out. Today we're going to reset, revoke, and delete, bro. So this is going to be very awesome. It's going to be very cool for people to watch, man. Before we begin, please take a moment to say hi, hello, or present. It's sort of like a roll call in the class. That way I know you're present and you're interested in this type of content in the comments below. Thank you so much and let's get back to the video. My name is Irvin, also known as Cobbleman. For all those people that keep watching me, hugs and kisses. I'm sending hugs and kisses towards you. You know, that's, a, that's, that's the best I can offer you. <laughs> How about that intro? I bet other YouTubers don't do that, huh? Yeah? Hey, nowadays, man, you gotta... You got to get creative with the intros. You got to get creative intros. Anyways, so we're talking about reset, revoke, and delete. But we're talking about specifically users. So we're going to do that for users, and I'm going to demonstrate all of those things. So here we are inside of Azure Actor Directory Admin Center. In favorites, over here on the left side, you'll have Azure Actor Directory and users. You can click on users right away. It will get you there. Or you can select Azure Active Directory and then under Manage here, you can select Users. All right. So what am I talking about? Reset is the first thing that I've mentioned, and that is Reset Password. You can do this from the admin, admin control panel from Office 365 as well. And I've done videos on this uh, in the past. Um, and this time we're going to concentrate uh, on Azure Active Directory. So we're going to start with this reset password. Here is first person that we've selected. And you know, let me let me back up a little bit here. Just want to show you I selected Bob Bobs and he's the very first person. And above his name right here, above his name is a reset password. Very self explanatory, very basic thing that you guys need to know as an administrator. And here it is, you simply select reset password on the little pop up that comes up on the right. So again, reset password you get a pop-up and then you select a reset password i know i'm repeating myself sometimes in these videos and that's on purpose and i'm sorry for people who don't like that but i do it so it's easier to learn repetition guys repetition guys and gals uh, repetition is the key and here it is it generates automatic password for us we can copy it and send it to them or just say it. And you notice how their temporary passwords are always very simple. So if I was to do this again, reset password, and then do it again, it's going to give another simple password. Uh, there are always, it seems to be eight, uh, eight uh, characters, and it has one capital and it has numbers. You know, so, and, and again, I, I know I've mentioned this before at some point, you can do this through admin control panel as well um, uh, from Office 365, which gives you ability to actually type in the password. But in this case, you know, it doesn't matter really. They're going to change it once they get this temporary password. You can see it says here, it says here, temporary password. Um, user must change. See, if I go hover over this little exclamation, it says user must change the password first time they sign in. So it doesn't really matter. If you verified, let's say you get a call, let's say you're doing help desk and you get a phone call and they say, I, can you reset my password? You verify who they are. You, you know, verify their name, their employee ID, which in, in here, and here's, you know, here's Bob. If you scroll down, here it is, their department. Here's their employee ID, company name, job title, whatever it is that you need to verify according to your company. What do they want? Some companies don't even want you to verify employee ID. I, you know, I don't know, but that's what I would do. What is your employee ID? Who would know this but Bob, right? And maybe his manager in this case, it's Sally. Here's his manager. And, you know, you, if whatever you need to verify, you verify before you reset their password. You tell them what the new password is and they go in, try it, and they have to change it. And then they have to change it. And that's perfectly fine. So let's talk about revoke session. Let's pick a different person. Let's leave poor Bob alone. We don't want to revoke him and reset his password. So let's pick, uh, let's pick Jasmine along. We're going to revoke sessions for her, which is right next to reset password. So it's right here, right here, revoke sessions. Um, matter of fact, you know what? I'm sorry, let's back up. Because what I'm going to do is actually log in as one of the users, and I believe that's Sally Mo. Let me, I got it, I got it pulled up here. Let me just make sure it's her. Because I, what I want to do is when I revoke the session, I want you to see what happens. 
and I'm going to explain this. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely Sally Mo log. Then I'm going to minimize this right now. I what happens is when you revoke a session, it kicks you out of your current session. So what is a session? Session is every time you log into an application, it creates a session. That means you're logged in and now you have access to that application. Could be Outlook, could be Word, could be Excel, could be OneDrive. It could be anything that is a Microsoft product in this case, right? It other, the same, same wording is used for other application, not just for Microsoft, but in this case, we're working with Microsoft product. So in this case, Sally Mo, every product that she's, every Microsoft product, application, software, a program, whatever you want to call it, whatever she's logged in right now, she's going to get kicked out. That's what it means to revoke a session. It means it's, you're going to, to get kicked out. You're going to make that session invalid. I'm going to make you, I'm going to make you log in again. Why would you want to do this? Sometimes you can have issues when somebody is logged in at multiple computers at multiple locations, and that old computer might have an old password, which could be revoking or also um, disabling person's password because it might have the old password and it's constantly trying to retain. It's trying to hold on to that old session. It's trying to hold on to that old session with the old password, old credentials. So if we revoke the session, it's going to kick out Sally Mo wherever she may be logged in in the, in the entire world for this specific um, server, okay, for her company. That's what that does. Okay, so we're going to revoke it. And here she is. She is logged into Outlook, right? I brought this back up. I did not edit this, nothing. This is all in one. Okay, I'm going to minimize it. Well, let me just bring it down here and, and see what happens. Can I do a side by side somehow? Because I want you to sh see how it, she gets kicked out. All right. So I'm going to select revoke sessions here. And I'm going to say, you see how it says, do you want to revoke all sessions for the user? It says, this will revoke all sessions for the user require, requiring the user to re-sign in from all devices. And I'm going to say yes. It says it's successful. And now if she clicks on something, it may not happen right away. Because if she clicks on something and refreshes it, it's going to kick her out, right? So we know we've done it here, right? And here she is logged in again. And I'm just going to try to browse something going to try to just go to send folder inbox and it it hasn't it, it hasn't done it yet so it, it should be working it may take a little bit I don't know how long it will take uh, I don't know let me try to go to a different application uh, let me try to open up OneDrive there she is there it is she got kicked out so once she switches applications, looks like it kicks you out. I was really hoping that it would kick them out while they're logged in and using the system, which is unfortunate. And I feel like Microsoft should be able to do this, but it didn't happen until I switched the applications and now she's kicked out, you know, so she's going to have to re log in regardless. Microsoft, here it is home. Let me try something else. Let's go try to go back to Outlook. Yeah, she is kicked out she's kicked out all right so that's what that does next thing is delete simply you delete the user so we're going to pick one of the users to delete and we're going to delete this one this is the one i recreated in the last uh, session that i've created for office 365 we created this user in actor directory and it's just called new user and i don't like that because it doesn't seem like a realistic name so we're just going to delete this person. Okay. We're going to select them here and we're going to delete them. Um, you can do this as well. If you go to back to users and select them like this, and then you can, you know, do a reset password. And if you extend this little three dots here, then you can also select delete users. But you know, I, I, I like to do it like this because it's all in one reset, revoke and delete. So let's see what happens when you delete. 
I'm going to delete and it's just simply going to say do you want to delete this user select delete and it says they're gone as simple as that you can restore deleted users as well up to 30 days I you know I've shown this in, in the previous videos as well but this is what happens they're just gone any of the licenses that they, they may have had assigned to them they're going to be removed from them so if you return them if you restore them they're not going to have those licenses okay now let's see what happened to that deleted users well, here it is we're still here in under users let me, let me go back here so we got options again azure active directory on the left side users and then we can select users whichever way you want which that's fine and then we have deleted users now here it is and I, I'm glad that it's still working for me because I don't know if you guys recall from my previous video uh, a lot of my licenses got actually expired or for use of our office 365 and such but here it is it's actually working which I'm very very happy that it didn't revoke my access to Azure Active Directory hence I'm making this video but I digress here is a deleted person that we've deleted if we select them we can restore them you simply select and right up here it's restore or we can delete permanently usually you don't want to do delete permanently you want to keep them just in case just in case they decide to come back I don't know whatever the reason might be it's better safe than sorry it doesn't hurt anything so you never typically you never want to delete them permanently unless it's a really really old account and you know this person is never going to come back and you're doing some kind of auditing maintenance whatever you know you can do that so if I was to restore I would have to reassign licenses to them and let's do it I'm, I'm gonna delete it but I'm gonna restore it and then it says here that I just want you to know that users are permanently deleted automatically 30 days after after they are deleted so that that there is that I don't know if a company can adjust this uh, like if they talk to Microsoft and they're talking to their support team and they're like hey can you make it so it's more than 30 days I don't know maybe they can make it more than 30 days this might show up differently somewhere all right so let's restore I've selected them and I'm going to restore them restore uh, okay it says it's restored and now if I go back to all users we can see that it's back and it's not back maybe I need to refresh F5 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 it's not back yet come on come on F5 either that or I'm blind F5 come on it's deleted users it's still there look at that I, I, I you saw me do it I've selected it restore user okay user su successfully restored new user has been restored which is the name of the of the account all users there it is finally I don't know why I had to do it twice I don't know but here here is this account again and again licenses you would have to give them licenses again so under their profile go to licenses this is something to keep in mind and then you can assign an, uh, a license to them oh wow look at this this is so weird licenses and look now it, it it has it it I don't know guys I don't know why this is happening you know I Microsoft is very very sketchy on this I've done this multiple times on multiple videos where I showed where you have to reassign these licenses and yet and yet it doesn't work like that in Azure Active Directory this is very sketchy I don't know what's good this is not working normal this Azure Active Directory that I have first indicator was not actually restoring initially now restoring with the license I mean this means that their license is still there all right so anyways I gotta show it to you so that you don't think I'm stupid I, I'm gonna show you how this looks like in admin uh, office 365 admin 
All right, I'm, I'm loading it right now. Here it is. This is really bizarre. So here we go, users, active users. Here is the new user right here, right? And we're going to delete it from here. I've shown this before. We're going to delete them. And we're going to do it similar to what we did it over there. We're just going to do the three dots. And we're going to select delete. Or we can just do it from here, delete user. So let's do it from here. And you can see here that it talks about this exactly what I said. If I was to delete, it says Office 365 A1 for students will be unassigned and available for other users. And then I can give it to somebody else, this license. And I, you know, I can't do it because I lost this license. But anyways, look, it says here, this license will be unassigned and available for other users. It didn't happen over here. Here we are back and, and he, or, or this fictional user still has it. So I don't know. I don't know. This is just something to keep in mind. Maybe it's a good thing that it happened. Definitely keep an eye out on this because the way this is acting is is very sketchy and very unusual. Very, very unusual. It could be just my setup because I lost some of these licenses. That could be the case too. But it is what it is and it's good to learn and it's good to think about these things if nothing else to make sure that you double check the double check so in the end just deleting the new user or deleting any user is not necessarily as simple as just clicking delete you know and there's more to it if you need to restore them because this tells me that when i deleted it it didn't actually remove that license so you know, just keep in mind, keep an eye out if you ever have to do this. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any other suggestions, I think I'm going to go and um, create more of these Azure Active Directory videos. And I think somebody requested security. I remember you asking me that. So if you if you happen to watch till the end of this video. I will, I will still make that video. Just, you know, give me some time. <laughs> I appreciate you guys' understanding. I really do. One thing I do want to mention. I do need ideas for videos. I really do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a link in the comments. In my first comment that's pinned. It's going to be my comment. It's going to be pinned by me. And I'm going to put a link to a ticketing system. A ticketing system, Jira ticketing system, which is what I've been uh, teaching a lot, uh, but it doesn't, not because it's Jira, because it's just all ticketing systems are very similar. But there's a link that I'm going to put there that will allow you guys uh, to submit computer issues. So if you want me to uh, work on an issue and, and be in a video, if you want to be in a video, as in your name, your screen name, whatever it is if you provide a real issue and send it to the ticketing system um, i will make a video and you'll be featured in a video so i think that's a good idea because it helps me uh, work on something so if you want a new idea uh, if you want you know if you want to send me new ideas i'll certainly make more ticketing system videos those are really good for help desk people so if you can come up with a problem or you actually have a problem on your computer which would be the best if you have an actual problem then I can talk about it and give you a potential solution you know I can't take control of your computer but I can show you inside the computer what I could do to uh, troubleshoot it it would be very fun I'm sure of it not just for me but for you guys too it would be very fun all right guys I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time bye bye